uh, Carmelo preseason in the books. What are a couple of the moments that have stood out to you about this team so far through six games? Uh, I think just the way that we've we've grown as a as a unit uh, in these couple weeks, uh, the way that we kind of just got a chance to learn learn one another, be around each other. Um, <coughs> You know, create kind of a, a foundation of who we want to be as a team. Uh, you know, aside from you know Gary missing the time that he missed, I thought everybody did a great job of just kind of buying in and trying to figure everything out and uh, you know committing to this journey that we're about to go on. You're talking about Derek missing some time, but Brandon Jennings has stepped up physically, emotionally, yeah. mentally. What have you seen that he's added to this team so far? Well, a, a, a different. Um, Energy, a different dimension uh, on the court. A guy who can, you know, push the pace, uh, speed the pace up, get the ball up and down the court. Uh, you know, very emotional guy. Something that you know, I think this this team's kind of feed off of, um, especially when we have momentum going. Uh, and I think he's finding his way, finding his niche on this team. And, you know, he's going to be a, you know, a, a good key, a big key. You know, especially coming off that bench uh, with that second unit. Before a preseason started, you told me it was too soon to talk about what this team is going to look like. But what gets you excited the most about I told you before, it's kind of just the, the unknown. I mean, I, I think that's what, you know, as of right now, that's what kind of gets me excited and gets me going. Um, not knowing who we're going to be or what we're going to be and what we're going to accomplish, but understanding and being optimistic about what we can accomplish and, and where we can go and what type of team we you know, we can afford on the year. So I, I think just not knowing what, what's going to happen it kind of gets me excited. You said at one point that uh, when they went out and made the trade for Derek, that that kind of reaffirmed that they were serious about trying to get better. So Derek's got the one year left. How much of an impact do you feel like his play and his ability to kind of lift the team along with you is going to have on the way you view this situation going forward? Well, I mean, we, I think we all took uh, a pretty good start just as, as far as the pieces that we acquired to you know, be a part of this team. Um, you know, we, we still don't know how it's going to kind of play out, but as far as Derek goes, he's, he, he's excited. Uh, you know, I've, I've known him you know, for a long time, for a couple of years now. And, uh, I think he got a kind of a relief off his shoulders where he can just come in and just now just focus on basketball. And, you know, sometimes getting out of a situation that you're in. You know, kind of get you going a little bit, kind of respark you. Know, you know, I'm speaking on the, on the Chicago situation, so uh, they're kind of getting out of there, getting away from that, and having a chance to kind of start fresh. And, uh, I think that's going to be smart. Do you think this team, you know, two years ago when you went 54 games, had a lot of veteran players, and guys came together pretty quickly and made a pretty good run? Are you pretty optimistic that this team maybe could kind of do what you did that year? Oh, uh, hopefully, uh, we we have guys on this team that you know kind of can push the envelope a little bit as far as coming together and, and you know holding guys accountable about where we want to be, what you know where we want to go, what kind of guy, what kind of team we want to have. So there's some similarities between you know kind of those those two teams, but um, it's it's going to be on us, you know, to go out there and kind of just buy in and formulate what we want to formulate out there, and, and guys just being comfortable with one another. Do you feel like between Derek and Joe? Even though it's a center, obviously, you can really have your first position. Do you feel like these guys are going to be able to make the game easier for you? Take some of the burden off of you? <clears> well, I mean, that's that's the goal. Uh, you know, I, I want everybody to be at their top, at their best. Whatever you do best, bring it. Uh, you know, if, if you play defense, that's, that's, your, that's your next thing. I need you to do that. Uh, if you rebound, I need you to rebound. So. I don't want nobody deferring to anybody on this team. Uh, I think we'll be at our best when everybody is playing at their top level. And everybody is playing at, you know, at, at their strength. When, when you're out there in these preseason games, people say that we don't really know what you engage from the games, but can you kind of sense just talent-wise the way you match up maybe last preseason year before you didn't match up some of these games and right now it looks like things look a little bit different as far as just – Hey, we have more better players than they do right now. Yeah, well, I think any any time you can come in, in to any type of game, whether it's preseason or regular season or whatever, and you have that confidence as a team that you know you look across the court and you feel like you can match up with with your opponent. I think that gives you you know some type of confidence. You know that that's a little bit of confidence that you can take some momentum that you can take 
Uh, when you when you out there on the court, I mean, as, as competitors, if I know that I'm looking across and I have an opportunity uh, to win the game, and, you know, do do you know win the hustle game or win the rebounding games or have a certain amount of assists or knock a certain amount of threes down, that gives you confidence as a player. Did you ever, even though you never admitted, the last couple of years say, I'm not sure we match up right now? No, I mean, at this time, I was always, you know, going into the season, I was always kind of just optimistic about kind of the team. I think that was just my competitive spirit, and believing that we can do something. Even last year when we had new guys you know, on the team, I always believed that coming into the training camp that, you know, we was going to do something. We had the opportunity to do something. And I think this year is, is the same, you know. I still have that same mindset. Carmelo, you play with some pretty good point guards in different teams, Sean C, Jason. What, what do you think D-Rose stacks up with those guys? Well, I haven't. I mean, I only play one game with, with, with Derek, so I really don't know uh, kind of what to expect. Um, I don't know how it's going to play out, you know, to, to be quite honest with you. But the only thing I, I can do is try to make it work. Uh, and that's my goal is to make it work. So I don't really know and try not to compare, you know, him to the other guys that I played with. How do you make it work from your standpoint? It's just something that happens. I mean, it's something that happens. We got to be willing, you know, to make it work. I have to be willing to make it work. He has to be willing to make it work. And as basketball players, we, just, we got to go out there and, and do what we got to do to make it work. You got any uh, updates, meetings the last couple of days? <coughs> Sounds like things have moved pretty close with the uh, owners' clubs. Yeah, I mean, it's, <clears throat> I heard the meeting the other day was, um, you know, extremely positive. You know, so we, we're headed into the right direction. I, I hope we can get a deal done, you know, rather sooner than later, but we'll see how that goes.